Welcome to the Y-N-T-A-A-Y Minis. I'm continuing with my series on lost treasures that I've found in my apartment. Um, and some of them weren't lost, they're just very strange things, and it's like, why do I have this? Like, look, I still have this from Big the Musical. Remember Big the Movie with, by Penny Marshall with Tom Hanks? Um... And here's my, from, they made the musical, and here's my Zoltar Speaks that I just had to have. And it's a magic eight ball. Zoltar, will I ever get all this stuff put away in boxes and moved? Mm. Uh, no doubt. Mm, well. You heard it here from Zoltar. Make your wish. Make your wish. Your wish is granted. Granted. That's from the musical, not from the movie. Okay. Um, see, this is why it takes me so long to, to pack, y'all, because I have to stop and do this. Okay. Now, these hands reminded me, they I think they're hands that you put rings on. I may have. I had it in the mail room, I think. And um, and it reminded me of that sculpture that Dr. Mark Craig used to have, you know, the hands for the surgeons that he won, that he won the prestigious award on St. Elsewhere. And so, and then I believe Christine got me this bar of Procter & Gamble uh, white laundry soap from back in the day. I don't even know what year it is. So I had put this P&G soap on these hands, and it's such a great sculpture. You'd better believe this is coming to the new place. Um, oh, this, I don't know why it's not in a frame, but I'm putting it in a frame. It's an autographed picture, and it's a sexy picture of Mrs. Edna Krabappel, Bart's teacher from The Simpsons, and it's signed by Marsha Wallace herself. I met her at a book thing at the um, UCLA Festival of Books, and she was uh, selling her book and doing the autograph picture, so I got her book and that. Speaking of autograph pictures, look at this, and I'm going to put it in a different frame. Um, it's the um, Friends cast when, you know, before the show really took off, so, and it's autographed by all of them. I think it's just, I mean, I didn't go and have it autographed, of course, but... They all autographed it, and it's from, like, 1995 when the show was before it really blew up. I mean, it was a hit right away, but... Okay, look at this little book that is a secret compartment, and I was like, ooh, what's going to be in there? Like a, a secret um, doobie or something? Just kidding, kids. And I lo look, I found all these ticket stubs, like, tons of ticket stubs from... Looks like can Miss Congeniality. This is from 2000. Um, why do I have these? Um, Rat Race with Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, good grief. Evolution, that's from 2001. That's going in the garbage. I'm, the ticket stubs. I'm keeping this little container. Oh, look. For some reason, now, I had to keep this because Peter the guard, who used to work where I worked, um, hi, Peter, uh, he gave us some bottles of wine, and this was attached to the bottle, and I kept it as a memento, so isn't that nice? And look, Amin from work gave me this, this um, Egyptian head that's amazing. I just don't have room for all of this stuff. It's as big as me. But I'm going to do something great with that. Oh, and behind me you'll see the um, the painting that I did. It's just with marker on poster board. But it's um, I used it in that video where Zane Lindquist was out to sea. And, now, and we filmed it in front of that. Uh, of course, Zane is coming with me and his wife, Felicia. But look. Hello, everybody! That sort of sounds like Fireman Bill. I don't know how to differentiate between their voices very well. But Zane is like, I want to introduce you to my brother, Zeke. Hello, I'm Zeke. And Zeke I got from Matt, um, 
at Christmas. Isn't that amazing? I love a good puppet, everybody. And of course, so Zeke and Zane, oh, and, um, and Felicia will be coming with us, but I don't know about this beautiful mural, so I don't know how I'm going to replace that. Look at this. Does anybody want some hands? I have these hands I got for Halloween, and I wore my Hands Across America t-shirt, so that's a treasure to be sure. A Dan Rather CBS Evening News Cup, and look, it looks like a TV. Um, isn't it strange that so many people had to leave the industry in shame? Now, I forget what the scandal was with Dan Rather, and I mean, it was a minor thing. It wasn't like a Me Too or anything. And he still does great commentary and great things. Um, look, I found Ethel Bones. Now this is the skeleton used to hung, hang in the mailroom. You mailroom people from the past will remember and everybody who used to come there uh, at CBS. And, oh dear, her foot fell off. Well, anyway, it was named after Ethel Bones, uh, who worked in payroll, a wonderful lady. And... And it was an honor to be named that, of course, this for the skeleton to, be, skeleton to be. And it used to hang there, and it was voice activated, so if you talked really loud, it would be like, ha, 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 ha. But the battery burned out and looks like it's leaking poison. Oh, I just found a ring. Isn't that amazing? A Halloween ring. Oh, it must have been on Ethel Bones. And... Look, I found all these old magnets that they used to use at CBS on the on the boards. Now, why did I keep all these? Off-duty. It was like those uh, boards they would use in TV networks um, that showed all the scheduling and all the other network people. You know, they would have all the different programming of, on the channels. And... Um, Oh, here's Central Park West, and they used to be hard little things like this, and then they switched to a nicer, flexible, um, soft, you know, magnet thing. But so, oh yeah, they switched to these. See, isn't that much nicer? But yes, I don't know why I had this. That was in the closet, and I have things like. This thing from The Fifth Element, and it says The Fifth Element. Remember that Bruce Willis movie? Why do I have that? I've got these great things like the Worst Case Scenario Survivor Handbook. That would probably be good to keep because what if How to Survive an Earthquake? I'm going to have to read that. You can flip back and watch my old video that Fireman Bill hosted. I'm talking about tips to survive an earthquake. How to jump from a moving car. I mean, it has it all. Maybe I'll do a separate mini. How to deal with a charging bull. I mean, they thought of everything. So I'm going to keep that. A 1001 Sex Secrets Every Man Should Know. Written by women you already know. Well, that's interesting. Let's just pick one. Um, Karina, 32, says, I love to lay in the tub and let him wash me all over, even shave my legs. Who would let someone shave their legs? Now, I ask you. Oh, I can't say that one. I wish I could invite a man into my apartment without him assuming I want sex, says B, 37. Um, no comment on that. Um... Men who know how to dress are instant eye catchers, says Caroline, 37. And look, I even found the ultimate answering machine message book. We don't even have answering machines anymore, so why do I have this? I um, want to find a fun one to read, but are there any? Oh, yes. It's your Priscilla. Oh, yes, a thousand times. I don't know what this book is about going in the heap, but it gives you um, suggestions. Hi, this is Rena. If you leave your name and number at the beep, I'll call you back. Beep. What? Why is that in there? That's like a regular message. Anyway, these are just some of the things 
that I have found today, or some of them I already knew where they were, but okay. So, from all of us, including Ethel Bones, um, have a great week. Oh, her hand came off. Oh, dear.